Uh, I'm here to introduce Steve McGann, who's the chair of our Sustainable Environment Commission. Um, the Sustainable Environment Commission is a commission that uh, a city of Moscow commission, which um, Steve will tell you a little bit more about it, but they are charged with um, overseeing and making recommendations regarding the health and environmental practices within the city. So Steve's here to talk about um, what they've done in the past year, I think, since the last uh, report. So let me see if I can get this here for you. No, nope, not that. Wrong one. There we there go. go. Thank you, Gary. And uh, good evening, uh, City Council and Mayor Lambert. Uh, thank you very much for having me here tonight and being able to speak on behalf of the Sustainable Environment Commission. I am going to have to figure out which button to click here. Let me see if this does it. So I'd like to good, introduce the commission roster as it stands right now. As Gary mentioned, I am the current chair. I took over in January. Scott Fidel and Andy Boyd. Our previous chairs, I think Scott was uh, almost a lifer. He was on there for about seven years, Andy for about a year. Uh, the commission is made up of citizens of Moscow as well as the Latah County. Uh, Keegan Caldwell is the, or was the current uh, sustainable intern. Uh, he's just graduated, as has Eric Anderson, for, who filled the UI seat. Uh, unfortunately, both of those uh, folks will be leaving. Uh, Luke Miller uh, serves as a uh, sitting member uh, from the Moscow High School. Uh, Adria Mead was also on the commission, uh, as is the case with a lot of uh, commissions in the city. Uh, we have people that are transient, uh, graduate, which is wonderful in the case of Eric and Keegan, and move on. So we will have some vacancies there. Mayor Lambert, we will be forwarding some names to you. And if anybody's interested, we're always looking for a few good uh, citizens to serve on this commission. So let me give you a little better idea of what we've been up to. Uh, the mission statement, uh, this comes off the website, I kind of, Gary paraphrased it, but our charge is to solicit advice and information about sound environmental management practices and help to promote public health and safety for the citizens of Moscow. We like to say we give good advice. Sometimes I think we're just limited to giving advice. Whether it's good or not is up to the listener. Uh, what I'd like to do then is give you some of a uh, rundown on some recent accomplishments. One uh, has to do with aerial pesticide spraying. Uh, if you've been around the Palouse, you've seen scenes like this from time to time. And it's a common occurrence, particularly in the springtime when the fields are wet. Uh, and in response to a complaint from a citizen, uh, the uh, SEC, Sustainable Environment Commission, was contacted and asked what process uh, do citizens have for filing a complaint as well as just simply having questions answered with regard to these types of activities. And I will say that I learned quite a bit. I, I work for the College of Ag and Life Sciences at the university and as I contacted the State Department of Agriculture uh, and identified the process, I found that uh, in addition to pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides, dry fertilizer is sprayed and in some cases just simply smoke coming out of the back of the plane as the pilots uh, try to get a feel for the wind and things like that. So there's, there's a lot going on there. Uh, the ISDA again is the State Department of Agriculture. They do have a process by which uh, a complaint can be filed or simply questions can be answered. Uh, we, we found that the citizen in this case was put in contact with the uh, field officer for North Idaho who is housed in uh, Coeur d'Alene at the uh, Coeur d'Alene uh, State Department of Ag office. And so that was followed up on. It really is a report that then the field investigator will try and find out exactly what happened. We didn't go any further than that since it was a, a personal complaint. But we did decide that this information would be useful to others in uh, Latah County as well as Moscow. So we summarized the information information and put it on the uh, SEC webpage for others. We're, we're certain this type of uh, question will come up again. 
Mayor's Earth Day Awards. Uh, I'm pleased to see the Lowry's here tonight since they were recipients of that. Uh, this has been a long-standing tradition. Uh, the intent is to recognize Moscow residents as well as organizations that uh, are responsible for activities conducive to environmental sustainability. Uh, this award uh, has been taking place for a number of years. Uh, the role of the SEC in this case is really to help organize uh, the nominees to facilitate the process, solicit nominations, and suggest those and get them all organized. And we are quite pleased with the turnout. Sorry, this is a little bit small for those in the back of the room with old eyes like mine. But uh, there are a number of businesses, including Myelina, as well as SMART, the public transit system that's taking place now. Several individuals, Pat Rathman, as well as Mike and Brooke Lowry, who are here tonight. PCEI, the AmeriCorps team, for their contribution. An academic uh, nominee, or an award, I should say, to Darren Saul, who is with the Community Partnership Program. Uh, student, and I hope I can pronounce Wetiki, whatever her name is, she works at the uh, Sustainability Center, has been quite active in sustainability issues at the University of Idaho. Uh, McDonald Elementary School, if any of you stopped by McDonald School uh, last Saturday, they had an open house with the Greenhouse Learning Garden Center. Uh, Debbie Bell really spearheads that. It's a phenomenal uh, outdoor learning center. And then the Palouse Basin Water Summit were recognized this year. So I want to thank Mayor Lambert for continuing this tradition. And trust me, there's uh, wonderful activities going on year after year. We'll be rounding up names for you again next year, <coughs> Mayor Lambert. Another one is the uh, Palouse Clearwater Food Coalition. Uh, this is a community-based initiative bringing together grassroots collaborative uh, approaches to promoting local food systems uh, in the Palouse Clearwater Food Shed, as it is called. The role of the Sustainable Environment Commission in this case, I serve as a liaison uh, to the PCFC. I attend their monthly meetings, provide expertise when I can as a, a person involved in agriculture. And then uh, I was very pleased as a member of the Sustainable Environment Commission that we were able to donate uh, $50 to help offset the cost for the uh, Food Summit 3.0. This took place in the 1912 Center uh, this January. January. It was a, a phenomenal event. Uh, some of the highlights, presentations by regional food businesses. These are people that have started up food-oriented businesses in the city or in uh, the county, I should say, and they shared some of their challenges, some of their successes and all that. Uh, very, very uh, interesting presentations, as well as the keynote address. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the person's name right now. It's a local farm operator, and she summarized not only the implications of the farm bill, as well as the cottage foods lo food laws that pertain not only to Idaho, but Washington, and that was the lunch keynote note address. Uh, the afternoon consisted of what they call the Ignite Session, and this was a resource and networking fair, a uh, chance for farmers, ranchers to get together with local agencies, bankers, and just network. I mean, there are so many people with uh, uh, ties to the food uh, web in this area that uh, getting them together in one room was phenomenal. Probably 60 to 70 people attended this year, and we're quite certain that uh, Food Summit 4.0 will uh, be planned and will be a rousing success. We're very happy as the SEC to be a part of that. Current projects, pollinators on the Palouse. Uh, of course, many of you have seen uh, you know, at the national, international level, we are interested in what really is taking place uh, on the Palouse and, and how we could be involved as a commission. I couldn't resist putting a couple of pictures of bumblebees up there. Uh, we decided to invite uh, Tim Hatton to our recent uh, May meeting of the SEC. Tim is a local pollinator expert uh, and gave uh, just an excellent talk on just the general ecology of pollinators, bees, as well as other insects, birds, bats, et cetera. And then uh, more than anything, uh, talking about what local homeowners can do. And with that, the uh, Environment Commission decided that we should develop some educational materials to help get the word out, alert homeowners to the issue at the local level, uh, what they could do in their yards, what happens in the, you know, the fields around here, and what not to do. Uh, and so we will, we do have a request in uh, to use some of our annual budget uh, to develop these uh, not only radio ads, but uh, brochures that can be handed out at the farmer's market and, and other venues. There was a very good Wisecape and Paul uh, presentation in May, I believe it was, but put on by the Water Department, and we want to piggyback on that. I think this is a very important issue, and it's one that uh, people you know, uh, need to know more about. 
I did take a look at your uh, agenda tonight and realize you're going to be here pretty darn late. So with that, <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up and ask the council if there are any questions. Well, Steve, thank you, you know, uh, for chairing the Sustainable Commission, Environmental Commission. Back in the days when I was on council, I was liaison at one time for that. It was one of my favorite commissions to be a part of. And there's a number of you, including yourself, that have been on there for a while. <clears throat> and as you had mentioned, yes, we've got a vacant seat, so I'm very much looking forward to some names coming forward great. on that. But thank you very much for the great job you guys do. I really appreciate it. Council, anybody got anything for Steve while he's at the podium? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs>